Hey guys, in this video we are making an adult bucket hat. To do this we are going to be using a number 4 medium weight yarn and it does have a recommended hook size of 5.5 millimeters but we are going to be using a size hook bigger at 6 millimeters. To get started with this hat we are going to start with a magic circle and we are going to chain one off this magic circle. And if you need to see how to do this or anything else in this video, there will be links for those videos in the description box below. If you like this video and channel, please give this a like and a subscribe and leave me a comment to tell me what you think. Also in the description box, you can find the link to my Etsy and there you can find the written pattern for this pattern as well as other art that I make and sell such as macrame pieces, jewelry, t-shirts, and more. So please check that out if you'd like. And lastly, if you'd like to keep up with what I am doing outside of videos, you can follow me on Instagram at the craft nut. And you can also tag me there with the things that you make for my patterns because I'd love to see your guys' work too. When you have your magic circle with this chain one, this chain one does not count as a stitch. And then we are going to go on to work seven single crochets around this magic circle. So again, work seven single crochets around the magic circle. When you have seven single crochets, we will then pull the circle closed and slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of that round. And you should have seven single crochets for this first round. For the second round, we are again going to start with the chain one. And we are going to start with the chain one on every round, and it does not count as a stitch at all throughout this whole hat. So again, this chain one never counts as a stitch, and we will be starting each round with this chain one. So for round two, we are going to start with two single crochets in this same first stitch. And then we are going to work two single crochets in the next stitch and each stitch all the way around. When you've made it all the way around that round, we will then slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. And you should have 14 single crochets at the end of round two. For round three, we are going to start with the chain one and work two single crochets in the same first stitch. And then we are going to work one single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to work two single crochets in the next and one single crochet in the next. And we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around again by working two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next. When you've made it all the way around that round, you should end with one stitch in the last stitch of the round. And then we are going to again slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. And at the end of this round, you should have 21 single crochets. So we are increasing by seven stitches on every round. And if you know how to make a flat circle, you basically know what we are doing already, but we will continue for a few more rounds. For round four, we are going to start with the chain one, and we are going to work one single crochet in the same first stitch, and one single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to work two single crochets in the next. So again, if you know how to work a flat circle, you basically know what we are doing already. The only difference is, is I am going to stagger where my two single crochets in the same stitch are. That way on every other round, they are either here at the beginning of the round or they are in the middle of where the last two, two single crochets on the last round were. So again, it will stagger. That way it is more of a circle and it doesn't end up with points. So 
So that is what we're going to do all the way around this round. Again, work one single crochet in the next two stitches, and then work two single crochets in the next. And we're going to do that all the way around this round. When you get all the way around that round, round four, we will then slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. And at the end of this round, you should end with two single crochets in the same stitch. And at the end of this round, you should also have 28 single crochets all the way around. For round five, again, we are going to stagger this. So we are going to start with two single crochets in the first stitch. And then we are going to work one single crochet in the next three stitches. Just like we would continuing the pattern for a flat circle. And then work two single crochets in the next stitch. And one single crochet in the next three stitches. And we are going to repeat this all the way around this round. When you've made it all the way around that round, round five, you should have 35 single crochets all the way around that round. And we're going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. And again, that was the end of round five. For round six, we now are going to be working two single crochets in one stitch and one single crochet in the next four stitches. Again, to follow this pattern, but we are actually going to start cutting the even numbers in half again to stagger where the two single crochet in the same stitch is at. So for this round, we are going to cut the four stitches in half to begin with. So we are going to work one single crochet in the same first stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. And then we are going to work two single crochets in the next stitch. And now we are going to work one single crochet in the next four stitches. And then again, we will work two single crochets in the next stitch and work one single crochet in the next four stitches. And you are going to repeat this pattern with two single crochets in the same stitch and then one single crochet in the next four stitches all the way around until you have two single crochets or two stitches left at the end of this round. When you have made it all the way around that round and you have two stitches left at the end of the round, you should have two single crochets in the same stitch right before these two stitches. And then we are going to work one single crochet in these last two stitches, which again is the other half of this set of one single crochet in four stitches in between these two single crochets in the same stitch on either side. And then we are going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of this round. And again, this is the end of round six. And at the end of this round, you should have 42 single crochets. For round seven, we are going to start with two single crochets in the same first stitch. And then we are going to work one single crochet in the next five stitches. And that is what we are going to do all the way around this round. Again, working two single crochets in the next stitch. And then working one single crochet in the next five stitches. And repeat that all the way around this round. When you've made it all the way around that round, you should end with a set of one single crochet in five stitches. And then we're going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. And that is the end of round seven. And at the end of this round, you should have 49 stitches. For round eight, we are going to start with one single crochet in the same first stitch and one single crochet in the next two stitches for a total of three individual single crochets here at the beginning of the round. And then we're going to work two single crochets in the next stitch. 
and work one single crochet in the next six stitches. And then we're going to work two single crochets in the next stitch. And one single crochet in the next six stitches. And we are going to repeat this two single crochet in the same stitch and then one single crochet in the next six stitches pattern all the way around until you have three stitches left at the end of this round. When you've made it all the way around that round and you have three stitches left at the end of the round, you should have two single crochets in the same stitch right before that. And then we're going to work one single crochet in the last three stitches. And then we're going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. And again, this completes this set of six individual stitches in between these two, two single crochets in the same stitch. And this was the end of round eight. And at the end of this round, you should have 56 stitches. We will now go on to repeat this pattern of increasing until you are finished with round 13. At the end of round 13, you should end with a set of one single crochet in the last 11 stitches of the round. And then we are going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. And again, that was the end of round 13. And at the end of that round, you should have 91 stitches all the way around that round. At this point, we are going to start working up the sides of the hat. And you are going to want this beginning circle to be slightly larger and stick off of the front and back of your head just slightly. It will stick off the sides of your head more than it does the front and the back. So do not determine it by the amount of hang over the edges of your head. Again, you will want it to come off the front and back of your head just slightly to make sure that it is big enough for you. If it does not stick off the front and back of your head just slightly, you will want to continue working this pattern until it does do that for you as well. If this is already a couple of rounds too big off the front and back of your head, you can undo this until it is about just one round sticking off the front and back of your head. When you have the size of your circle that you would need, we are then again going to work the walls of our hat. So for round 14, or whatever round you are starting this on, we are going to start with a chain one, which again does not count as a stitch for this whole pattern. And we are going to work a single crochet around the back loop only of this same stitch. So again, if you need to see how to do this in closer detail, there are videos for those linked in the description box of this video. But again, you will want to work one single crochet around that same first stitch. And then we're going to do that all the way around this round by working one single crochet around the back loop of each stitch all the way around this round. When you've made it all the way around that round with one single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch, we will then slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of this round. And for me, this is the round end of round 14. It may be different for you if you changed the amount of rounds that there were before this, but I still have a total of 91 stitches all the way around which was the same amount that we had at the end of round 13. And you too will want the same amount of stitches for this first round of the walls of the hat as you had for the last round that you had for the top. Also, it may not seem like this first round is really flipping up that much, but that is okay and normal. 
it will happen more and more as we now go around up the sides of the walls of the hat. Now for the next round, for me round 15, we are going to work one single crochet in the same first stitch and work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around this round. And when we get all the way around this round, we are going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. When you've made it all the way around that round and slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round, you should still have the same amount of stitches that you've had for the previous two rounds. For me, that is 91 stitches. And now you should see a little more of a flip up with these rounds these last two rounds that we have worked. And now for the next round, round 16 through round 28, we are going to repeat what we just did for round 15. So we will work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around the round and slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. And again, I'm going to go on to do that for round 16 through round 28. That will give me a total of 15 rounds for the sides of the hat altogether, including this first round that we worked in the back loops only, and the second round, and then we will go on to work it for another 13. So again, that's 15 rounds for the side of the wall all together. That way, if you worked more or less rounds for the top of the hat, you can then calculate how many rounds you need to work for the side of the hat before we go on to work the brim of the hat. When you have the 15 rounds for the side of your hat worked up, we will then go on to work the bill for the hat or the part at the end that flips out. So to do that, we are actually going to start where we left off up here on the round part. So here at the top on the very last round of the flat circle on the top, I ended with 11 individual single crochets in between the two single crochets in the same stitch. So now down here, I am now going to start off where I left off with that pattern. So now I'm going to go on to work two single crochets in the same stitch and then work one single crochet in the next 12 stitches. If you changed the amount of rounds for this top flat circle that you used to get the size that you needed, so if you worked less rounds, you will want to start off on the next set that you would need to to work the next round for the flat circle. And same thing if you worked your circle to be any bigger. If you worked the last round to have 12 individual single crochets in between the two single crochets in the same stitch, you'll want to start off with 13 individual stitches in between the two in the same stitch, and so on and so forth. So again, because I ended off with 11 stitches in between my two single crochets, I'm going to start with 12 individual stitches in between those stitches with two single crochets in the same stitch. And again, I'm going to keep staggering this, and because there is an even amount of stitches in between the two single crochets in the same stitch, I'm going to divide those stitches up so that I can stagger the two single crochets in the same stitch. So I'm going to start with a chain of one and work one single crochet in the same first stitch and then work one single crochet in the next five stitches for a total of six stitches at the beginning of this round. And then I'm going to work two single crochets in the next stitch. And then I'm going to work one single crochet in the next 12 stitches and then repeat this all the way around this round, again by working two single crochets in the next stitch, 
and then working one single crochet in the next 12 stitches and doing that all the way around until I have six stitches left at the end of this round. When you have six stitches left at the end of the row, you should have two single crochets in the same stitch right before that. And then we are going to work one single crochet in the last six stitches of the round. And that is the end of round 29. We're just going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. And if you are working it the same as me at this point still, you should have 98 single crochets all the way around this round. For the next round, round 30, we are going to work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around this round to prolong this width for just one round. And when we get all the way around this round, we are going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. And again, this is round 30. And at the end of this round, you should still have the same amount of stitches that you had for the previous round, which for me is 98 stitches. When you've made it all the way around that round with one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, and then slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. You should still have the same amount of stitches as the previous round. And then we're going to move on to the next round. So again, we are just going to continue this pattern of increasing by seven stitches on every round that we are going to be increasing on. So on this next round, I'm going to work two single crochets in the same first stitch. And then I'm going to work one single crochet in the next 13 stitches. And we are going to do that all the way around this round by working two single crochets in the next stitch and then working one single crochet in the next 13 stitches and repeating that all the way around this round. When you've made it all the way around that round, you should end with one single crochet in the last 13 stitches. And then you want to slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of the round. And again, we are still increasing by seven stitches on every round. So at the end of this round, we should have 105 stitches. And this was the end of round 31. For round 32, we are going to start with a chain one and work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around this round. Again, to prolong the width that we have right now. And at the end of this round, you should still have the same amount of stitches that you had on the previous round. For me, 105 stitches. And when you make it all the way around, you will slip stitch into the top of the beginning single crochet of this round. Again, when you've made it to the end of that round, round 32, you will still want to have the same amount of stitches as you had for the previous round. And that for me is 105 stitches. And now so far for the bill or increasing area at the bottom of this hat so far, we have done two increasing rounds and then one round with one single crochet in each stitch after both of those rounds. So we are now going to go on to do that exact same thing two more times. Again, by working another increasing round and then working one single crochet in each stitch all the way around on the next round. And then increasing again and then again working one single crochet in each stitch all the way around on the next round. So we will go on to increase two more times and have a total of four more rounds. And that will leave us ending off on round 36 with 119 stitches all the way around. If you are working this the exact same way as I am. If you are not using the same amount of stitches and you're not on the same round as me, that is still okay. You'll want to go on to repeat this pattern two more times, just like I will with the amount of stitches that you have. I've now finished round 36 
and I have 119 stitches all the way around. I'm now going to finish off my work and weave in my ends. And when you two have eight rounds for your bill area, which is four increasing rounds and then four rounds with one single crochet in each stitch all the way around after each of those rounds, then you two will want to finish off your work and weave in your ends. And that's all there is to it. So I hope that that was helpful and enjoyable for you. If it was, please hit that sub like and bell button and leave me a comment to tell me what you think. I hope that you guys go on to create many more amazing things. And until next time guys, I'll see ya.